Hey, what's up, Noise Works here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how I do my color adjustments, adding the glow, and basically make everything blend in so it looks like one image. Also, on the bottom of the video, I'm gonna post a link on how I do the skin retouching and how I crop out images like buildings, masking out hair. So please check that out. All right, so I'm going to delete the glow and the adjustment. All right, let's create a new folder. And let's name this adjustment. And first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. And then go over here to the color palette. Type in 127. 127. 127. Click OK. And in the shortcut to fill it in is Alt Delete. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. I'm zooming 100%. Usually I find 10%. Should be good. I'm zoom back out. Click Soft Light. And what this does is add a little bit of noise to the whole image. All right, next thing you want to do is add a black and white adjustment layer. And on the blending, change the soft light. And right now it's kind of too dark. So what you want to do is lower the opacity. So you get some looks pretty good. Bring it up a little bit. And next thing I want to do is add another new layer. And on the color palette, you want to get the color kind of kind of brown. That should be good. So that's the number right there. You want to get the exact one. Click OK. Shortcut, Alt Delete to fill it in. And then change the blending mode to soft light. And basically, what this does is it gives it an overall tint so everything kind of, kind of blend in. I'm going to move this down beneath. Now, the next adjustment layer you want to add is hue and saturation. And move, move that down below the brown layer. And on here on the saturation, just bring it down. Just a little bit. So everything kind of blends in. That should look, that should be good. And next adjustment layer you want to add is levels. And now what you want to do is bring the mid tone a little bit up. It on the black, make it a little bit darker. Alright. So you disable the adjustment layer. You can see the difference. Alright, next thing you want to do is go down here, add a new group, name this glow. And now add a new layer. And the easiest way to do this is on the color palette, select a sample of the background, something kind of light, I'll say right here, click OK, go to your brush tool, and make sure the hardness is all the way down. And the size is about this size because you can put the glow right here. Just color it in a little bit. And now change it to white. And color that in. 
and then with that change it to screen or actually hard light and then go to the selection tool you can move around I'm just messing with the opacity see see what looks good all right, that looks good and instead of redoing all the the brush the brushing what you want to do is just with that selected command J or control J to duplicate it and with this you can move that around I'm gonna do command T on a Mac I'm gonna just stretch it out Command J and I'm gonna load that one down a little bit. I'm gonna do one more. Command J, duplicate that, bring this to the right. Let's lower that. So if you disable the glow and the adjustment, you can see the difference before, after. If you have any questions, comments, please leave it below the video. And for more tutorials, please check out my website, noiseworks.com.